My concern with that is if you have two service running and now you have potential of 240 volts. So you got two lines running out there and they're both live. It's a tough one. It's a tough one, but the code says it's okay. Uh, again, if you're a qualified electrician, you understand how to test, you know what you're looking for, it's not an issue. I always check if I shut down that circuit right there, it's a three gang or four gang box. And uh, I go in there, I'm like, oh, this side is still hot. Well, let's not touch this side. We're working on this side only. Use your bulb meter. Don't use the dummy stick. I call them the dummy sticks. The testers are great. They can kind of give you a good idea. There's voltage there, but find out if it's if it's actual voltage on your load. Make sure it's 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 actual voltage. Yeah, that 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 should be there or shouldn't be there. I tend to somewhat agree, but disagree with that because uh, that 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 sniffer is my first line of defense. Where I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll actually sniff and I'll go, okay, is that hot? No, I'll let's check it and we're done. And then, and then I pull out my, uh, my meter and check it. Oh, it's just a bleed over signal from wherever. That's fine for your first line, but it's still, uh, just double check it. 